Uh, I'm Jaron Henry McRae, and I'm the director, co-writer, shooter, too many other things, of the film Curtain, which is here at the NYC Horror Film Festival. I'm Karis Edwards. I'm the co-writer, co-producer of the film Curtain here at the NYC Horror Film Festival. The initial idea of the movie came when I was, well, actually, I get a lot of my ideas in the shower, uh, and this one began in the shower when I was thinking of a bunch of other ideas for movies. And while I was sitting there, I was also just aimlessly staring at the shower curtain, and I thought, what if that shower curtain just suddenly disappeared? Um, I was really, really fired up about it. Uh, I wrote a script in like less than six months or something, and then submitted to a uh, script writing competition, and it was immediately rejected. And so I felt really bad. I put it on the shelf. I didn't want anything to do with it again, nothing about shower curtains. And then uh, Kara said, why don't you go back to that shower curtain movie idea that you had? And I said, well, only if you'll help me make it better, and you made it infinitely better. Well, it was pretty good to begin with, but I think the main thing that we did was um, swap the gender roles. So initially it was, uh, Tim was the main character, and Danny was his kind of sidekick who was really into him for no good reason. And uh, so we thought, well, what if we swapped genders and made Danny the lead role? And that just changed the whole dynamic of the movie and made it much stronger. And I think the character of Danny is like one of the strongest things about the movie. And that's a testament to Danny Smith, our actress, who's wonderful. We wrote the movie knowing we were going to shoot in New York because we lived in New York at the time. And to use all friends' locations. So, for example, the lead actor, Tim, we shot most of the movie in his apartment, uh, which doubled up as the lead character, Danny's apartment. And then her uncle's apartment was our sound guy's apartment. So we were just like, we couldn't have done it without being in New York with a bunch of friends helping us. And that's uh, one of the reasons we stayed in New York to complete the movie. Yeah, we paid yeah. for the movie entirely with our own money. Um, when we're not making movies, we are freelance corporate video sh makers, Do shooters. A lot of dentists. A lot of dentist videos yeah. paid for this movie. <laughs> Uh, a lot of fashion videos, um, but mostly I do a lot of shooting. She does editing and producing, and we do it just to make our movies. That's that's the goal. Well, our production was initially supposed to be um, about a month long, and we wrapped that up. We shot around middle of October to middle of November, and then quickly realized that we we needed way more, <laughs> and everyone was doubling up on the movie. So like I was. Producing, ADing, script supervising. We had our sound guy who was also our gaffer. Most people on set were just like, let's just get good stuff. And if we don't make our day, that's okay. We'll figure it out later because it was like a big uh, feeling of friendship and, and family and like a really small crew. So we just thought, we'll just get good stuff in the day, n not worry about making the day. And although that seemed good at the time, um, made the production last a lot longer. So all in all, we were about 45 days ish. Um, not full days, though. Yeah. I mean, we were even doing pickups in our apartment and with just my hands and things. Your hands are like half. Yeah, my the hands movie. are in a lot of yeah, the movie. Yeah. <laughs> One of the, I guess, adventures we had on the movie was that we shot at uh, Camp Akawasan, which is in West Milford, New Jersey. Uh, that's where we shot all of our exteriors, and they were just amazingly, like, nice and accommodating. They had electricity. They fed us. Um, yeah. <laughs> they got a turkey dinner one night. That, yeah, like, they roasted a turkey for us. It was it was so. Thanksgiving the first uh -huh. night, um, and then yeah. as it went on, they were giving us all kinds of food, and then they also had like, but then they also double up as a paintball. <laughs> uh, and one particular night, like the big night, we're having this big finale of you know we're shooting the climax of the film, uh, and that is also happening the same night that the zombie paintball extravaganza is happening. So as we're shooting and. Danny's having this very dramatic moment. We're always hearing the background, oh, bang, 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 <laughs> oh, bang, 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 ah! We had to be like totally quiet because she's got to be on her own. Uh, so that was one hurdle that we had to deal with. And the bears, there was often bears. Yeah. So we had, we had our lights in the middle of the woods and so that was like our radius of, of light that would keep us safe. And then you would just hear every now and then little crunching around in the darkness and you were like, Yep, some bears are watching us. But... And gigantic spiders. Oh yeah, huge, spider city. Poisonous spiders, yeah. yes. You yeah. would lift up like a sandbag and then there would be right waiting yeah. for you. We would have to go deep into the woods. We were going deep into spider territory. The terrain yeah. is covered with rocks and we had to have people being tackled on the dirt and things. But we, So we had to remove these gigantic rocks and yeah. then we had to dig holes. And then Danny had to get in the hole and I had to get in the hole. Everybody got in the hole. Yeah, something. we dug a six foot hole and we had our puppeteer and makeup artist Lisa Forst. Uh, she was in the hole 
Puppeteering. Puppeteering. And we had to put smoke and fog down there so she couldn't breathe either. She saw the hole and she's like, I gotta get in the hole, right? Like, yeah, you, you gotta get yeah. in the hole, sorry. And she jumped. All I saw was <laughs> yeah. her feet, you know, she just yeah. jumped right in. She was great, yeah. So we've been yeah. on the film festival circuit for... Our world premiere was in August, Film 4 Fright Fest in London, which was lovely. Because we got to have my family go there, which was nice. And then we had an LA premiere. Yep, at Beyond Fest. In October. And actually, we're playing Buried Alive today as well. In Atlanta, yeah. In Atlanta, yeah. Uh, yeah. Paris. We're playing in Austin later. Columbia. Uh, yeah, San so, Sebastian. Yeah, the, the, the hard drive with the movie on it is going all over the world now, like Phileas Fogg. It's having a, an adventure. We're currently working out our U.S. distribution. The movie should hopefully be released, either a VOD, and they do say a DVD, but we'll see. The movie will be available to everybody sometime in 2016 here in the U.S., uh, maybe in Redbox as well. And then also we are talking uh, to a U.K. distributor right now, but... We'll see. Yeah. We love to make movies that are fun and, and going to be a good time and very Twilight Zone-esque. So yeah. that's what you'll see from us going forward. Good. This was, I think, the best crowd we've yeah, had. The I best mean, crowd in, in at New York, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I was, uh, I mean, we've been to other festivals, and but this is actually, I think, one of the best experiences we've yeah, had. Yeah, the audience was, was wonderful. They were great. They were laughing and jumping in the right spots, and there was a big gasp at the end, yeah, which you was can good. Yeah, hear people talking, yeah. and it's like, no, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> And that's like, that's just butter to us, yeah. you know, I just eat that all day yeah. long. Uh, and the venue's like, totally nuts, I love it. Uh, <laughs> it's like, I mean, we've gone to like, movie theaters and stuff, but here it's like, everybody, it, like, right when you walk in, you're already like, okay, this is a, this, we're in a real horror festival, this is gonna be great. Uh, so we've had a blast. Look out for Curtain in 2016. Uh, we've had an absolute blast at the New York City Horror Film Festival. Uh, and there's going to be more, so much more. Just uh, keep watching our movies. <laughs>